This video takes the model of perfect competition that we've looked at already and it considers how we can move from the short run to a long run equilibrium. We've seen previously that in the short run a perfectly competitive firm can make a super normal profit as shown by this diagram here or it can make a loss as shown by this diagram here. What we'll see in this video is that in the long run neither of these two options are possible. Instead, in the long run, a firm under perfect competition is going to make a normal profit, as shown by this diagram here, where price and cost are the same. We can reach the same long run equilibrium whether we start with a short run super normal profit or a short run loss. We'll look at both examples, starting with beginning at a short run super normal profit. For this we need two diagrams. The diagram on the left shows a, an individual firm under perfect competition which is making a super normal profit. And the diagram on the right shows the industry as a whole, so all of the firms involved in making the same good. As we can see the firm is a price taker because the price P and its demand curve D are in line with the price P in the industry. What's going to happen because we've assumed there are no barriers to entry is new firms are going to join this market they're going to enter because of the super normal profits that are being made therefore the overall level of supply in the industry increases because there are now more firms making the same products we'll show that by a shift to the right in supply in our industry diagram giving us a new quantity Q1 and a new price P1. Because we've assumed that each firm in the industry is a price taker, this falling price from P to P1 means the demand curve for the firm is going to shift downwards from D equals AR equals MR to D1 equals AR1 equals MR1, which is in line with price P1 from the industry diagram. That's because P1 is the market equilibrium, which is the price that the firm has to take. Now, when the firm profit maximises, it produces where MC equals MR1, which gives us quantity Q1. We already know the price is P1. We can find the cost where the dotted line from Q1 meets the AC curve, which is at the same point as P1 meaning P1 and C1 are the same, and therefore a normal profit is being made. The reason this specific point is the equilibrium is because anywhere up until this point, super normal profit is being made, and so more and more firms are going to join the industry because they have an incentive to. However, once we reach this point where the demand curve goes through the bottom of AC, a normal profit is being made any more firms joining will start incurring losses. Therefore there's no incentive for any more firms to join, meaning this point here where normal profit is being made is the long run equilibrium. We can show the same thing starting with a short run loss. This time the firm is making a loss from cost C to price P for quantity Q. And because we've assumed there's no barriers to exit, some of the firms are going to leave the market because they're losing money. That means the overall level of supply in the industry decreases, and so we shift our supply curve up and to the left, giving us quantity Q1 and price P1. Therefore, the price that each firm takes is higher, meaning we shift their demand curve up to be in line with P1, giving us D1 equals AR1 equals MR1. Now when we profit maximise we produce where MC equals MR1 which is quantity Q1. We know the price already is P1, the cost is where the dotted line Q1 meets AC which is in line with P1 meaning that P1 equals C1 and again normal profits are being made. Therefore the long run equilibrium of the model regardless of the starting point is this diagram here where P equals C and normal profit is being made. Diagrammatically, that means drawing our demand curve horizontally going through the bottom point of AC 
meaning that when we produce where MC equals MR, we're also producing where AC equals AR, and therefore normal profit is being made.